Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today, I'm going to show you how to make lahmacun, or it's also called as Turkish pizza. <laughs> okay, first we're going to start with the dough. About one cup of, uh, yeah, I kind of boiled it over, went bored. So one cup of, uh, supposed to be actually two cups of warm water, and I'm going to grab the other cup from the bath. It's pretty warm. I don't want it hot. Okay, so two cups of water. Still hot. Well, it's not that hot, but it's warm. Okay, so you need a tape, a teaspoon of salt. this okay mix this okay five cups of uh, flour that's what we need okay the reason I'm starting the dough early so it can rest at least for 20 minutes while I'm preparing the the top okay I would highly recommend you to get some one of these. I ordered from AliExpress, but you can buy it anywhere. There's, before they weren't selling anywhere, but now they are. So uh, yeah, it's just like this. So a total of five cups, so slowly mix it. Just like this. until it gets, uh, it becomes to be perfect dough. We don't want the dough to be hard. We want it to be nice and soft. Just like this, and after that you can use your hand because uh, it's getting, uh, you see, it's getting to that point when you need to use your hand. Uh, my KitchenAid, unfortunately, uh, I'm going to show you how to make uh, Turkish köfte. I already have a batch resting in the fridge. So I was going to use my KitchenAid mixer, but uh, it's occupied at the moment and I don't have another... Uh, Uh, what you call it oh. to mix it with so it's occupied just like this okay okay now I'm gonna use my hand to mix it because we need to knead it right okay just like this Grab all that flour. If, if you notice it's too hard, you can just add a little bit of water because there's uh, nothing, you can make anything wrong with this uh, dough. It's so easy. Just like this. Yeah, we need to have it rest at least for 20 minutes so it can uh, become soft. Just like this. And I will continue because it's going to take me a while and I'll be right back. Okay, it's still soft as you can see, so I'm going to add more flour, but slowly. Just like this. And then continue. haven't uh, made lahmacun for ages. I had my uh, COVID-3 shot yesterday. Oh my goodness, last night. I was sick. I had to take, uh, I think I woke up at 6 a.m. and I took day quilt because I didn't want to take night quilt to sleep more. 
because I slept all day yesterday. And uh, so, uh, yeah, unfortunately, the COVID is just not going away. As you can see, it's still soft. So I'm going to add uh, more flour until I have that thickness, right? That's what I'm aiming for. So not too much though, just be cautious. But again, you can add water, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> okay. Okay, now it's becoming. You will notice it, it will get hardened when you add the, okay, just a little bit more. Not too much. Till, see, it's becoming. I will pick up the flour from the ball. And you will notice that the dough is coming out of your uh, finger, your hand. That means that's, that's the right, perfect. See, it's coming out of my finger, my hand. And then see how it's becoming? Just a little bit here. Yeah, the dough is very important, right? Because we want to... Uh, what we're going to be eating the dough <laughs> okay see just a little bit more just a little bit just very cautious okay I think this would be enough I'll keep on kneading until I have to enough try to grab all that flour in the bowl And then see it will come off see how it's easily coming off that's what we're aiming for okay I will continue to knead and I'll be right back oh I'm breathless I become breathless <laughs> okay now I'm going to move the dough the dough is like this see how it becomes this is what we're aiming for I still have dough on my hand but that's okay okay hmm. just need a little bit of flour like this okay and then I am going to divide this into pieces okay you need something like this it's very helpful make like this big and uh, put it aside to rest look at the time it's 22 so I have to come back some can be bigger that's okay Nothing to worry about, but this is how you do it. So I will continue to make these into small balls. Just like this, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I made a total of 13, and I'm going to cover this with saran wrap, just like this, so it will be moist. like this just to protect it and uh yeah okay i'll be right back okay now it's been uh the time i got gathered everything the dough has been sitting there for over 20 minutes so that's okay 
the more it sits, the more it will relax. So you need one onion, you need garlic, and we need to chop them on our chopper here. And I have this beautiful KitchenAid. I bought it from Amazon and I'm really happy with it. My uh, 20 plus year one passed away, <laughs> unfortunately. So, uh, and then you need pepper. Any kind of pepper would work if you like hot, grab some hot pepper. Green pepper would work. I had these in the fridge. And you need to, uh, you need tomato. I don't have enough fresh tomato, so I'm gonna use this can. It's diced and I'm gonna blend it. Okay, so uh, let me work on these and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just wanted to show you before I chop them all. I put them all in here. One onion, uh, one garlic, and the three pepper. I'm going to add just a little bit of water, maybe the tomato juice that from the can, just to give that liquid, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I chopped them all in here, and I put water, and then I chopped the entire tomato. Maybe uh, I'm not going to use them all, but we'll see. So you need tomato paste. I would say... Two, two tablespoon maybe and then you need uh, pepper paste you can uh, uh, can be mild or you know hot depending on your taste okay so I have one here I'm going to just use this entire finish this can this jar and then uh, maybe put in here that's what I usually do. I don't waste anything, believe it or not. Uh, I put a little bit of tomato. Tomato that I chopped. And uh, that's what I do. I use the entire. And then okay, I'm going to carry on because it's going to take me a while. You need uh, ground beef. Okay, I'm going to mix with uh, regular ground beef with extra lean ground beef. Okay, and this is what it is. I don't know if you guys know, Alberta beef is very popular. Uh, I don't know where you live, but uh, yeah, here we go. So, use them all up. You need salt, pepper, whichever seasoning you want to add. So uh, I don't use salt. I use uh, I use the seasoning salt. It's there's salt in it. So that's what I do. Add this. There's uh, red pepper in it, and then regular pepper, just black pepper. You can add as much. This is good for you, pepper. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this. I'm gonna add the tomato and I'll be right back. Okay, <laughs> as you can see, this is not liquidy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump the rest of the tomato that I have blended, chopped, and add a little bit of water because it's still, it's not, not that liquidy and use your hands because uh, the spoon does not help mixing it and taste it if it's suitable the seasoning that you have added I added cumin as well cumin okay and uh, it has to be liquidy okay so this is it so I'm going to start the dough and then put this on top and then uh, bake it uh, cook it on top of the oven, uh, on the stove, with a pan. Okay, see, we need this liquidy, like, not liquidy, but we need this thickness. That's what we were aiming for. I think there's lots in here, but we'll see. I think, yeah, I think I went overboard. But there's 13 batches there, 13 balls. So a total of 13. I'm going to wash my hands and I'll be right back. Just to be on the safe side, I, I put some bags just to have it 
secured. So I'm going to move this here. And I'm going to start working on the doughs one at a time. I'm going to just show you two, two of them because uh, I don't have that much room left on my memory card. And then I will start with this one. Just a little bit of flour. And I'm going to start... Uh, can see it right close these see the more the dough rests the, the easier you can uh, work on it another one I'll be right back grab the smaller one I bought this in Turkey I bought a couple actually when we were moving I had one when I bought 1993 and uh, when we were moving where we forgot to grab it so we didn't go back to take it okay I need to put more flour I'm going to put it on oh. I'm going to put I forgot the pan I heated it. it it heated too much so I had to remove it okay I'm going to bring the other pan well let me do it this way and if I feel uncomfortable I'll do it on the pan and spread the ingredients on top. We have to do this one at a time because it will dry. Um, it won't dry the liquid if you put the liquid or you can uh, make those like this or have it uh, this big and then what you can do is put the, the ingredient uh, the, the ingredients on top of it later. Otherwise, it's uh, it's going to be hard because it will be mushy, and we don't want that. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in here, just like this, and then you can see it right. We need you need to use your finger. Okay, well you don't have to. <laughs> so uh. Just like this, spread it all over. No butter needed. Just have enough flour underneath, and I forgot to add flour, I think. Oh well. Don't put too much, because we have to cook this meat, right? There's meat in it. So 10 minutes on low. And, oops, and don't forget to put a lid on. We need a lid. So I'm going to grab a lid. A lid like this. This would do the work. And then put this here. And then turn it to low and uh, cook it for 10 minutes. But we're going to check it. So I have another one ready, another pan. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat what I just did. Repeat total of uh, 13 of them. And then I'll be right back. Okay, so I put the other one here and that's uh, cooking. So this has been sitting here for three minutes and we're just gonna check it underneath at low again. Try to... So 
it becomes bubbly bubbly see so we're going to three minutes we need seven more minutes and I'll be right back okay so this has been cooking for 13 uh, 14 minutes and I turned the heat a little bit so it's more than low and what you need to look at is this see this what you need to look at and then what you can see is okay can you see this one it's bubbling up so this is still uh, in the process of cooking but this one stopped bubbling so that means that it's cooked okay so uh, I'm gonna wait for another minute and I'm gonna take this off and put a new bat new um, and then what you can do is you can um, put onions parsley and then wrap it and just eat it because the dough is cooked see it's all brown underneath that's when we know that it's cooked and it, there's no bubbling up okay so it's it's been exactly 15 minutes so this is cooked so I'm gonna move this and then put a new one just like this I use this I'm looking at the time again it has to be 15 for my um, oven <laughs> my stove okay so oops you will see that it will watering so uh nothing to worry about what you do is you just mix it because uh just mix it like this then i'm gonna put this on top just like this and i'm gonna repeat it over and over until uh, all of them are cooked so I hope you like this uh, short video that I have uh, made to share it with you how to make lahmacun, Turkish pizza. Uh, you can put any ingredients in it if you want. This is what I do. Mostly onion, garlic, and so on. Okay. Just going to cook. So bowl appetite and enjoy your lahmacun and share this video. Oh, it's pretty hot. So what you do is you wrap it like this and you eat it. Crunchy, crunchy. Mm.